Okay, so today we're focusing on reestablishing your trigger assembly in a perfectly good gun. All right, so I want to make clear in videos of this nature, this is not a fixed video. Your gun's working, you took out your trigger for one reason or another, and you're, you want some help putting it back in. If your gun's jammed, please watch one of my other videos for that. Five jams, and I have five videos for each one. Okay, so okay, so it's good times, your gun's working, you just want to take a look at your trigger, maybe lube it. Okay, so... You have all the working parts right here. You have your piston sear. When you pull your trigger, that drops. Um, okay, your plunger comes back. It's a slanted plate. It hits this area right here. It pushes up. And then the front of your piston sear grabs that metal plate. And then there is a trigger sear underneath there. And then when you pull the trigger, watch that, watch that sear. Okay, it drops. Okay, and the anti-bear trap is that clicking here, click, 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 six of them. And the seventh is cocked, cocking your gun. All right. Also, I want to bring up the fact that the one thing I demo with is this one's had a spring removed. So you can see things like the catch point. And I just, you know, like having it like that. But this is how it really looks inside your gun with the spring right here. And remember where your trigger goes, anti-bear trap follows. So, see, it comes down. There we go. Okay, so we need to be careful with this anti-bear trap not to dislodge it from that catch point here. And we have to manipulate this and actually gently push this into the top of your gun. All right, so we have the stock off, the lever off. You have to have all that off. And then we have to navigate this catch point here for your lever. Okay, so we grab it with your forefinger and thumb. Now, before we do that, there is a slit right here, and that has to rest on your trigger shelf. Your trigger shelf, let me get some deep, good light on it, is right here. It's caved, it's shaped like this and has a catch to catch that slit. And you have to make sure to do that right. And we're going to be very careful to key on where is your safety. If your safety is not in the gun right, you can't get your screw through here. All right. And we're going to really focus on the safety area and where it is. Okay. So we need to watch that trigger shelf and make sure you catch it on that slit. So, okay. So we Grab it like this, we put it in, slightly push that anti-bear trap against the top of the gun to clear that catch point here that holds your lever. Okay, and then we get it back down into position. Don't be afraid to use your fingers and your thumb to manipulate the sheet metal slightly. Okay. And before you do that, make sure you're paying attention to that slit in that trigger shelf right there. Okay, let me see if I can get a light on that for you. Okay, so the trigger shelf is right there. Let's get a zoom on that because this is a crucial area you'll want to be familiar with. Okay, so you want that slit riding on that curve part. You can just make out the curve on that trigger shelf. And we want that riding in that slit in your tr trigger assembly. Okay. So let's focus in on that first. And so I'm going to go ahead and make sure it is on there. There we go. There it is. And now we just gotta get that safety through that door or window right there. I'm gonna use my fingers to slightly open this up and get it in there. And I can feel that anti-bear trap being squirrely in there. So it's something we, there we go. Okay, there. Okay, there. That's where we want this. Now, do you see where the safety is? It's back and away. It's not dangling down. It's about right even with the catch for your lever. Okay, and then let's take a look at that hole. That looks good. Let's review where, is it on your trigger shelf correctly? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That looks good. It's in the slit. Where is your safety? Your safety is just a slight separation, a little less than a fourth of an inch from here. Okay, and then let's look at the all-important hole for your screw. Looks good. Okay, so let's put that back together. There we go, went right through. Now, some of the things you gotta troubleshoot, if you do not watch where this safety is resting, you see how that looks, how it's really about even, just a small gap and even with the catch for your lever? 
Okay, if a common mistake is that you have it riding too far forward, it's not, it's out of position. You've got to key in on this spot. Okay, so we're home free. You're almost there. We almost got this done. So, okay, let's screw that back in. Okay, you can see it coming in through the other side. There we go. Okay, and then, all right, now it's not, don't worry about the nuts right now. Okay, so let's check it manually. Okay, let's put your lever back on. We gotta check this to make sure it's working correctly. So then remember, that's the smaller screw. Don't get your screws mixed up here. And let's see how we do there. So we don't need to worry about putting on the nuts right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and cock it and see how we do. So, and let's see if we get that wonderful thung sound and we'll check the safety. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now from there, I'm not gonna bother putting on the stock in this on this video, guys. It's uh. Let's not get silly with that. People don't have a great attention span as it is. Okay, so now we got those two screws on, and now we need to put the nuts on. So you get, I love this ultra steel thing, or thing, yeah, ultra steel multi-tool because it can go from a bit to a nut driver. Okay, and so let's put our... Okay. Careful with the paint. Um, there are tools out there that are a little rough on top. Just make sure that your socket is smooth on top. And be careful with this one down by your lever. Just try not to ride the paint. That is a little inside tip I haven't given before. Also consider using thread locker blue. That means you treat the screw and your nut with that so this does not come loose. I, I do that on all my guns now because I've had that come off. So, all right. So that is it. And let's double check it. Okay, we got it. There we go. This is good to go. Just put on your stock. Now, let's talk about things that you need to know about. Okay, so let's look at this. And so the first time on the channel, okay, don't take apart your gun to think you have to lube the trigger assembly. Um, for a lot of people, they really struggle to get this back together. They make mistakes. Let's not take apart the gun. Right, I just am totally opposed to people would say, take it apart, take it apart. No, we're not doing that, especially for young shooters. Okay, all right. So here's what I'm gonna show for the first time on the channel. Okay, so we're gonna cock the gun. Now this is a dangerous position right here because this is set up to be like a, a rat trap, really. It can, it can hurt your hand, so make sure you set your safety. There we go. And so the places we're going to focus on, I want you to lube that catch point Right here, that is the sharp point that catches your plunger. Okay, and all right, and we get a lot of lube on that, and I'll show you why, why we do that. Okay, so here is the bottom of your plunger. Okay, so that sear that we talked about grabs that plate, and so that catch point right there, also, that's what grabs your back of your plate on your plunger that grabs your sear. So by oiling here, by oiling right here heavily. I also like going along the sides of the trigger, at least with my gun, it at least gets the trigger sear. Uh, you can see some springs if you wanna get oil back into there, that's fine. You really cannot have too much oil in this gun back here. Don't flood it. But every time you oil the power plant, the oil hole, I would get back there and do this. And you don't have to take apart the gun. Imagine the stock still here. So you put a liberal, liberal amount of oil, I would say ballastol here. And oil along the sides of your trigger. You can you can oil those springs if it if it uh, suits you. But by oiling that part here, I want to make clear that gets on that plunger, which gets on your sear. See, this is why I have the spring off of this. See that? And that gets all the spots you need with no disassembly. So please do that here and both sides of your trigger. Every time on this buck, every time I'm out of a magazine of ballast or uh, 400 shots, I use ballast stall on, on the gun. One, two, three. Okay, thank you and good shooting.